Welcome back, everybody. I am Warlock Gamer Kadash, and this is Doki Doki Literature Club that we are playing. Now, this game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed, so there's your warning right now. If you're a child, do not watch this. If you're easily disturbed, I also don't recommend that you watch this. I have no idea what to expect here. Oh, uh, individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warnings, please visit link right there. <clears throat> By playing Doki Doki Literature, Literature Club, you agree that you are at least 13 years of age and you consent to, to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Well, I consent. I am, I'm 26. I'm ready. Alright. Right off the bat, this game is not... Yeah, we, we already saw that. Now... <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I have no idea what to expect. I've played my fair share of dating simulator games, but uh, I've been told this one is far different. And uh, I was actually not even going to bother playing it until one of my co-workers, who's also as big into YouTube gaming as I am, she recommended that I check this out. So, uh, shout out to her. I won't use names, but she's great. Alright, so let's fiddle with the settings really quick. See... Yeah, I'll keep it at windowed. Unseen text, choices, text speed. That all looks fine. It all looks good and dandy. Let's, uh, start a new game. What shall my name be? Uh, let's go with... You know, I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it somewhat seriously and just go with... Marky Moo. That's not taking you seriously at all. <laughs> hey! <clears throat> I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it kind of just works out because you've known each other for so long. So it's like you don't even know any different. We used to walk to school together on days like this. Typical anime trope. But starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, well... I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ha! Ah, ah, ha! I overslept again. But I caught you this time! Maybe, but you... But only because I decided to stop and wait for you. This is gonna be very audio, like, dialogue heavy. That's what dating simulators are all about. Eh, but you, you say that like you were thinking about annoying me. That's mean, Marky Moo. <laughs> well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. That's weird. You're my childhood friend. Fine, fine. But you d did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. Or speckled. By the way, Marky Moo, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I ordered a club sandwich yesterday. A BLT. It was fantastic. I... I told you already. I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh? That's not true. You told me you, you would join a club this year. Did I? Did I really? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I get dismissively, where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Oh my god, this is gonna be hard on me. <laughs> Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh huh. I 
was thinking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. For those of you who are uh, not up on the on like Japanese terms, a neat is a stands for not in education, employment, or training. So like you you are a mooch. You live off of people. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. Anything for you, dear. But no promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Oh gosh. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. Since I'm the main character, I sit right by the window right about here. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Okay, so maybe it's right here. Or there. The shadow is there, so that must be where the wall is. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. Turkey Club. Yeah. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello! Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom because I'm so oblivious to my surroundings that nobody matters. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, oh wait. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Don't you need to wait up for me if I'm going to make you late to your own club? I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought you'd know. You know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori? Yeah? There's no way I'm going to join your club, ever. You put mayonnaise on your clubs. Eee, meanie. I like mayonnaise. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. That, that, I can't imagine that tastes good. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after one of the proposed, one, after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the, the title of Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why don't you care? S why do you care so much? Well, no, that's. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday that I would bring a new member, and Natsuki made me made cupcakes and everything. He. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. It was delicious. It had sprinkles. I, dejecti I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used, used to used wait, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room girl one. 
Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori is always saying nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, uh, Marky Moo, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this room. Situation. I don't, I don't know what I said. This club is full of incredibly cute girls? What are you looking at? If you want, if you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Crap, I'm already forgetting her voice. Uh, Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear and then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. <laughs> don't say that. Don't don't say things like that. Yuri who appears Yuri who appears comparably more mature and timid seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, oh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Monica. Or Monica? Is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Marky Moo. Monica smiles. I'm just gonna say Mar Monica. We know each other. We do know each other well, and we rarely talked. But we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, and athletic. Oh, I'm reading the, I'm reading the wrong person. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me just so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. And I'm going to end the first episode right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, so far it seems like a typical dating simulator, but... You know, apparently it's apparently it gets crazy, so we'll see how things go later on. See you next time.